Hey guys, welcome to a quick world of tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use fill, drain, and how to fix liquids. So these are very simple commands, easy to use, and you guys should have no problems with them. So the first one I'm going to go over is drain. Now, drain is very handy if you want to get rid of water that is in kind of an abstract area. I couldn't set air to this because it's so layered and textured, it's terraformed. Set works in a square, drain works in a circle. So I can easily just get rid of this water with drain. So I do slash slash drain and then the radius I want to use. So I'm going to use 50, that's a little big, but for the size of this plot it's perfectly fine. Slash slash drain 50 and you can see that it goes out in a circle and drains all of the water perfectly. It won't replace any of the stone, it'll just drain the liquid that's there. It also works on lava. So let's say I wanted to adjust the level. So now I want to fill this back in, but just at a different level. So I want it to be like up here. So I imagine I want the water to appear at my feet. So it's going to appear below me. So I don't want to do the fill command from down here. That won't work. It won't go up above my head. So I stand, imagining my feet are the surface of the water. So this is about where I want it. And then you do slash slash fill and the block you want. Fill can work with any block at all. So I can do sand or stone or cobble, but I want water. So I'm going to put water in. And then you need the radius and the depth. I'm going to do 50 and 10. It doesn't matter if you go too big because it's just going to replace the air blocks. Type in that command and you can see it starts filling out at my feet in a circle around me. Now of course if you are working with a smaller limit I do recommend getting the actual parameters that you need and not just typing in random numbers. Don't do that. Don't follow by my example in that way. Now you can see it's filling in. Great, causing a little bit of lag. But it's in this abstract shape. It's not a perfect square. It's a circle works well. You see I did too big. It went onto the road. That's not a big deal. I'll just undo it. Here we go. Alright guys, so the next command we're going to use is fix water and fix lava. So they both work the same way, so I'm just going to show you the water one because it's the one that I more commonly use. So what fix water does is it fix little errors in the water like this. I had to create this one so it's not perfect, but sometimes when you fill stuff in especially with buckets, it creates little flowing errors like this, and I don't want something like that in my pond. Looks kind of weird. So I just stand in it and I type slash slash fix water and then the radius. And you can see it fixes all the flowing water for me. This is also great for underwater when there's little bubbly parts that you don't want there. Works wonders. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this world tutorial. It was pretty short, but I think I got all the commands out. It was just a video to show examples of how the commands could be used in building scenarios, because sometimes you see the command, but you don't really know how you would use it. So I hope my examples helped you out a little bit in that. And remember, always experiment with world edit. You have the undo command. Don't be afraid of it. Just use it. It's such a good tool for you. Okay. Please leave suggestions in the comment section on future videos you want me to do, if you want me to do some building tutorials or some different world edit commands, or maybe some realms gameplay on MMB. Leave suggestions for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.